this is my house. Like, I own a home. I own a home. <laughs> This right here, perfect example of some drywall, so I'll just okay. mark that up real quick. And then when we're going through the walk, if you see anything, just holler at me and we'll be sure to mark it up. Um, all the pipes for your sinks are. Okay. So I'm just going to turn it on, make sure there's no leaks. no leaks or anything like that. Yeah, right there. Yeah, so those are actually called weep holes. And what, what those are is when you're taking a shower, what happens a lot is Behind this tile wall, it's when it's you take a warm shower, all that moisture. Think of like a cup on a summer day, yeah. all that moisture. moisture on the side. So that's kind of what happens behind this tile. Mm -hmm. And those holes are just an exit point for that water so you don't get any mold or mildew mm -hmm. back there. We got one that controls the upstairs and then another one Ooh. that controls the downstairs. That's nice. So with that being said, you always want to, since it's two zones, it's uh -huh. ultimately one system up in the attic. Okay. So if you have this one on cool, you want to make sure that one downstairs is also on cool. Just okay. because if you got one floor heat and one floor cooling, you can kind of get confused yeah. upstairs and then can malfunction sometimes. Oh, I can go up there. Yeah, that's your house now. You got to oh. take care of it. Uh, you okay. Know, I promise, I promise. So just That's where bugs be and stuff. Uh, uh, be. Wait, so the light switch on. for it is right there. Okay. And I promise the ladder will hold you. Uh. No, hopefully on Monday or Tuesday we'll have a, like a restoration team coming in here. And they'll yeah. spray a bunch of chemicals on there to okay. get that cleaned up for you. Now they Can't think of the I have a freaking backyard! <laughs> I'll have those, have those for you ready to take. Okay. And right here is a security oh. lock, and that just locks up your garage even more. Okay. Your exposure, put it on there to remove it just because if it's in there and you open the garage, it can mess up your motor. These wires right here, and what that is, is if you do have a problem with cockroaches or blows or anything. All right, so I decided to come to Lowe's to look at the washers and dryers, compare some prices, as well as probably order my fridge. This is, I can't even believe that I'm doing this right now. I literally just cried in the car, so I'm not showing my face because my eyes look a little crazy, but this is crazy. This is, this is, God is so good. God is so good, y'all. Mm. Oh my god. As you guys saw, my house already came with a stove and a microwave, but oh my god. I can't. I'm fridge shopping. Like I'm I am fridge shopping right now. Oh my god. I just can't stop saying God is so good. Like, I just can't. He is unbelievably, undoubtedly the most amazing being in the entire universe. Outside of the, I can't even, okay. Y'all have to go because I'm, I'm having a moment and I just, I need to actually look at these fridges. So this is the first fridge that I just opened and this is really, really nice. I feel like this is too wide, but I'm gonna check the measurements because my builder gave me the measurements. Oh, this is nice. Oh. This one is called Frigidaire. <laughs> Frigidaire, I think. And I really like this one because it has all of these little small compartments on the side. There's an adjustable temp drawer. Oh, I need this. <laughs> I like this one as well. This one is 2200. It is fingerprint resistant. This is the water part and ice and all that good stuff. There's also indoor ice and it has huge compartments on the sides. And this is the inside. They're getting more and more expensive. This fridge is 3400, but look, it has like all of these cool sliding drawers. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna spend this much, but this is really, really nice. For my forever home, I'll definitely look into something like this, but this is the starter home, so I don't need to get a $3,500 fridge. 
Y'all, this one, you can choose your own color because my stove and my dishwasher, my microwave is obviously black with silver finishes. Um, so what if I got a black fridge? Regardless of model, is that the more features you have on your refrigerator, the more problems it's going to have, again, across every brand, make, and model. I believe there was a notoriously big poet back in the 90s uh, by the name of Wallace that kind of alluded to my side refrigerator. These are all the electrical circuits and components that this system needs to operate to get your... Soften up the mess, drop it in the water, let the daughter find an image with the rest. She'll be learning how to breathe. Spinning through identity, reveal another pretty little scheme. Save her mind. Hold her hand. And don't believe a lie. You understand me. Walk her down the valley. Pack a piece of heaven for the bottoms of her feet. Teach her how to jump and how to stretch when she reach. Like the angels do. And you gon' make it through now. Tell about the healer Greater is the one within a column as the leader Teach her how to hold a pretty hand up to the sky We're making so much progress. Look, 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 look y'all. Look at the closet. I'm just honestly putting all my clothes into um, garbage bags. And then I also have clothes here that I washed. It's, it's a lot going on. I have clothes here that I washed. And if we go down here through my hallway to my front door Whew. progress and then i also have a lot of my clothes still left on the hangers and i just poked a hole through the top of a garbage bag because you know efficiency <laughs> when i get to my house i can just take the garbage bags off of the hangers and hang up my stuff but <sighs> y'all i'm excited i'm excited i'm ready we are now seven days away from closing day seven freaking days <laughs> this is crazy we're about to be we're about to be out <sighs> y'all it's closing day oh my gosh pussy real bad say pretty please cop me baguettes make my wrist freeze that pussy talk broken coochie chanel what is pussy talk louis coochie wise sell Right here. Okay. The attorney will be ready. Okay. She can grab a pen right here. Okay. And then these are a few documents from your community. Okay. You can go ahead and start with those, and then the attorney will bring in the rest. Okay. Thank you. Right. So this is for you. Mm -hmm. This is a card. We'll go through it later. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> you have like legit books. Recent. Texas based on the sales price of the property that's three hundred and eighty dollars and twenty cents. Under the miscellaneous heading, first year of homeowners insurance is seven hundred and sixty nine dollars and ninety six cents. Survey fee uh, survey fee is three hundred dollars. The HOA, HOA initiation fee is a one time fee for the new HOA that's uh, one thousand dollars. The HOA future dues um, are two hundred dollars that are being collected at closing. The HOA processing fee is a one time fee for the new HOA that's two seventy five. Any questions about that number or any of the other numbers that we've gone over? So. Can we make sure this is on? You can just set it up. Thank you. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> can we double check to make sure that all of these questions, questions are answered? Yeah, like that for right now. Like this? Yeah. Uh, can be answered, yes. <laughs> the chicken scratch. Yeah. And after signing, you could have you also please initial right there. So much has been happening. I'm in my house. I have this bottle of champagne that was gifted by the realtor that helped me with a nice card. I'm starving because I did not eat today and sorry for the echo, clearly. Ah, I'm in my house. I just can't believe I'm in my house. Like what the freak? I door dash for the first time to my house. Ah. I got a chicken roti and then I also got some oxtails, so 
I'm gonna go ahead and eat and then get some more content. I'm gonna talk to you guys soon. I need to do a sit down portion because, oh my gosh. This is the drink that I got with my Jamaican food. It's called Tropical Rhythm Island Mango. I really want some water, but they didn't have water as an option. So I'm about to eat. Did they give me silverware? Oh, they did, okay. I just need to eat and collect my thoughts. I'm in shock. Like, I'm actually in shock. I don't know if it's hit me yet, but I'm in my house and I have to like keep saying that. I'm in my house, like, this is my house. Oh, let me fix my little, fix myself. This is my house, like, I own a home. I own a home. <laughs> I'm sitting in my house. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm in my house, this is my home. No one can take this from me. I just can't believe that I own a house. Like I own a house, I own a house. I am a homeowner. This is my house. I have a backyard. I've never had a backyard in my life. I have a backyard. I have multiple bedrooms, multiple bathrooms. There's a bathroom by the door. There's a bathroom upstairs and another bathroom. I have a fireplace. I, I have a garage, y'all. Like, I need to eat my food, but I'm just still in shock. Like, look. I have a garage, y'all. Like, I've never had a garage before. I grew up with my family not even having a car. And now I have a full two-car garage. My home is a smart home. I'm just... Cabinets and like my house was just built. I can't even like I, 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 I <laughs> this is crazy. The only words I can think of right now are thank you, thank you God, thank you to my supporters, thank you for the people that have shopped with me. I just I need a moment. This is my home. This is another investment property. This is a seed into my future, my kids' future, my kids' kids' future. This is, this is my home. I can sell this, I can rent it out, but I'm gonna live here for about two years. The equity is gonna grow and then I'm gonna start looking for a forever home, but this is my first home. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm just so, Thankful. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh my God. I've been trying not to cry all day. I cried a little bit in the car on the way to the closing table, but I haven't really like cried in here. Wow. I'm the first homeowner in my family. The first homeowner in my family. I'm only 25, I'm 25 years old and I have made so many sacrifices. I've tried my best to make the best financial decisions. I've been building my credit since I was 21 and now I'm the first homeowner in my entire family. I'm the first one that has multiple properties. This is my second property. I bought a condo in Miami last year. I'm just really grateful and thankful that God trusts me enough to be the one that changes the trajectory of my lineage, of my, my generations to come. I had to be the one, I had to be the one to create wealth. I had to be the one to break the chain of poverty and, and the chain of lack over my family. 
And in order for me to break these generational curses and to build this generational wealth, I had to go through a lot <laughs> to get to this point. I had to be, oh, I'm really not trying to do all this on camera, but this is my raw emotions in the moment. So excuse me for being a little cry baby. I'm really grateful. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. This is incredible. This is such a blessing. My thoughts are all over the place right now and I'm trying to articulate my feelings authentically in the moment. And it's just a little bit difficult because I didn't grow up with access to homes or cars or money. I literally wore the same clothes every week in high school because that's what we could afford. I'm only 25 and I work like I'm 50. <laughs> I literally work so hard. I work like I have kids already. And I want to look back on this video. And I want my kids, my future kids, to look back on this video like, yo, mama, put it work. And I made the necessary sacrifices because I knew I had to be the one to do it. And it wasn't easy. I need to get it together. Get it together, please, child. This whole clip is literally of me crying. I'm overwhelmed with gratitude and I just, I can't stop saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you for all of the people that supported me. This does not happen if people don't shop with me, if you guys don't trust me and get my products and my services and book me. Like, I just can't, like, this is my life. And I'm always in shock. I'm always just like, what the heck? In this moment, I'm just thankful. I'm ready to move, I'm so excited. My mortgage is cheaper than my rent right now and I just moved to Atlanta 10 months ago. I've only been here for 10 months and I'm already a homeowner. And as soon as I got here, God just opened up so many doors. As soon as I got here, week two of me living in Atlanta, BET reached out to me. And it's crazy because as soon as you do what God wants you to do, the doors open and there is no limit to what he will do for you. But you have to take the first step. You got to move. You got to move. You can't keep asking God for a different life, for abundance, for help if you don't take the first step. He needs you to run the play. He gave it to you. You have to run it. It's on you. It's on you to get you where you want to be. <sighs> and I am I am living proof of doing stuff scared. If you push through your fear, this can be the result. I don't know what it is that you want in life. I don't know what your story is. But if you're asking God for more, you got to move. You got to take that first step. Oh my gosh, okay, y'all. I need to... I need to get myself together. I want to put on some worship music and I just really want to walk around my home. And I just keep saying that because it's like, this is my house. And my sister can come and she has a room. We didn't grow up with stairs. We never had stairs <laughs> because we lived in apartments our whole life. My sister and I shared a bedroom until I was 21. And when I was 21, my mom put me out and I got my own apartment. But from eight years old to 21, my sister and I shared a bedroom. Growing up, I didn't even have a bed frame. There were times growing up where my mattress didn't have a box spring. You know, like these are things that are normal to people, but we didn't have that. And I'm not saying this to be like, oh, what was me? We were just so, you know, poor, but that's the truth. I'm so sorry if this clip is all over the place i'm gonna try to leave in as much as i can thank you and keep going no matter what you gotta keep going you gotta keep going and it's gonna be hard it's gonna be hard it's gonna suck no one's gonna understand your vision first meal in my home i actually need to go to my apartment um, because i'm not moving in today so i thought i would just give you guys a very small tour 
going up the stairs and I have a loft, but I really want to show you guys. This is, oh, y'all, I just ate, so I'm getting a little thick realness. So here we are. This is the master closet. It looks smaller on camera, but I can fully come in here. So it's a walk-in master. This is the toilet, which is separate from the bathroom, which I love, I love, I love, I love. Get into it. This is the master bathroom. Stand up shower. And then I have this huge, oh my gosh, this tub is so big. I kind of want to get in it. <laughs> I want to get in and show y'all this tub is huge. Let me see. I don't want to get, I want to dirty it up. I'm going to take my boots off. Okay. Wow. Y'all, this tub is so big. Okay. All right. Let's see. Oh, it's so nice. <laughs> My house is new construction, so everything is super modern. Bedroom here, bedroom, and then this is my laundry room. And then if we come over here, this is the back of my house. We're in my fenced in yard. Wow. Y'all, I'm just, look at the stove, the finishes, the microwave. 